What's up everyone? What's up everyone? Hello everyone. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Daniel. I'm here in Iowa. Gold Coast Casino. I'm ready to give you guys another vlog. <laughs> What's up everybody? Uh, welcome to part two of my Arsenal building series for this year's Open Championships 2023. Um, if you have not seen part one, be sure and click the link that's in the top right corner of your screen right now and it'll take you directly to that video. Um, and so uh, let's kind of get into today's video. So I am about to go practice at Bowler Emma Lanes. Um, I, to recap, in the previous episode, I designed a pattern for doubles and singles to practice on. Um, I have absolutely no knowledge of what the actual pattern is like or is. These are just ideas that I've come up with from watching publicly available videos on Facebook just to try and give me an overall game plan for the bowling balls that I want to bring with me because I'm flying out there. With that said, with doubles and singles, I was for sure on taking the UC3, the Zen U, and the Venom Shock. So let's kind of talk about um, today. Today I'm going to be practicing for the team event. So what that means is uh, I have a different pattern that I've, that I've designed and it's more geared towards the team event. Um, it's a little bit different. It's a little shorter. It is uh, something that I've designed that I can practice on. I'm going to be taking uh, nine balls with me today to practice with. Uh, those three included, and then also the IQ Ruby, the Zen Master, one of my Purple Hammers, a 2019 one that is, and a Zen as well, and an Idol Cosmos. And so just taking those balls so that I can figure out which ones to eliminate, which ones that I'd like to take to Nationals this year, and uh, which ones I think would be best. And so looking forward to it, but without further ado, I'll see you at the Bowling Center. All right, guys, so uh, just got back from practice, practicing on the pattern. Um, and so I'm going to go over some clips with you just like I did in part one. So a big part of what we see here, uh, as I'm starting to get warmed up and stuff, once again throwing my Venom Shock because that's my surface, you know, ball with a lot of surface on it. Just trying to break down the lanes, break down that, you know, outside towards five, uh, like the first arrow, and break down that part of the lane. You work together as a team, and we'll work together as a team to do this. From there, after I warmed up, I tried my Zen Master, which I keep at 4,000 grit, and the Zen Master rolled really well. And so I honestly think that the Zen Master would be a great idea for um, the team event, you know, just because if I do end up being able to throw urethane, then I can still use the Zen Master as my shiny, solid, symmetric ball to get through it. Um, afterwards if if there's a bunch of carry down or if I can't use urethane it's a great option to get down the lane and not read super early so it plays really well off my venom shock too with my venom shock I put 2000 grit on it and the 2000 grit looked a lot better too but only after I actually moved left and started playing that 15 to 10 that's something I've seen from a lot of people in the Facebook videos that I've seen from USBC Open Championships page just trying to throw it right at the down lane tracer and now I understand why simply put I mean my ball reaction went from zero to hero pretty quickly as I started throwing that 15 to 10 line I had that little bit of hook to the right because the pattern was 38 feet but I also if I missed left it just I had that slight bit of hold that would get me through the spot if I missed a hair left from there I actually tried the Obsession Tour Pearl, and it looked really good, but the one ball that just never ceases to amaze me is the Idle Cosmos. The Roto Grip Idle Cosmos is one of the best balls in my bag, it's one of my favorites now, and here's why. I mean, you see an example of it right here where the ball is clean through the fronts, but it doesn't overreact down lane. It's a very simple ball motion, very smooth ball motion for a pearl, and I love that. So it's definitely a ball that I'm going to be bringing to uh, Nationals this year. Now if you remember uh, from our previous video that I was talking about the Obsession Tour Pearl maybe bringing that, well I think that that's for sure in the bag now. So now we've got the Zen U, the Idol Cosmos, the Venom Shock, and the Obsession Tour Pearl, plus the UC3, which is 5. So now, let's kind of talk about some urethane options and what happened. So I threw the Zen U, and it did not look good on this pattern. 
I also threw my 2019 Purple Hammer, and it did not look good either. And the UC3 looked okay, but it was just a little over under. I think something like the IQ Ruby, which I, uh, which I threw a little bit on this pattern, um, as it continued to break down, it looked better and better, but also I don't think that it broke down enough, just me bowling alone and then my friend Marshall joining towards the end. I don't think that we broke it down enough for me to truly be able to use it enough or utilize it to the full of its potential, but I think the IQ Ruby is definitely a ball I want to have in my bag for nationals this year. So I'm going to add the IQ Ruby to that list, and then there's one more ball. This guy right here. The original Rubicon. So, I've got that original Rubicon brand new in the original box, and I'm planning on drilling it uh, next week and then shipping it out to Vegas. It's gonna be my ASIM solid. Then, I think the last ball that I'll include on the list is my Zen Master. It's cleaner through the fronts because I have it at 4000 grit and keep it that way. And it's a little shinier, gets a little more down the lane but it has a very simple reaction. It's also pinned down, so that gives me something that's just a hair earlier and just a hair uh, more than my Idle Cosmos, but still gives a very similar shape, which is great. So, I'm going from strongest to weakest here, and then I'll throw urethane in at the end. So, strongest ball is gonna be the Rubicon, definitely my ASIM solid for this year's Nationals. And then next, we're going to go that Venom Shock because I'm going to keep it with some surface on there. So I think that'll be great. And then I've got the Zen Master directly after, which has that 4000 grit. Still a strong core, strong cover, but a little cleaner with that 4000 grit. So still pretty smooth, and I like that. And then also I'm going to have the Obsession Tour Pearl as my asymmetric pearl ball. So shiny asym, going to get through the... The front's pretty easily, but be earlier than most of my other pearls and very forward off the end of the pattern, which is important. Then it's going to be the Idle Cosmos. Um, that'll also be uh, one that's a little cleaner, a little smoother, but I love that ball. It's super versatile, definitely one of my favorites in my bag. And then I'm going to have my IQ Ruby. That'll be the weakest ball in my bag, but I think one of the most valuable as they start to break down. You know, because we have three games of team and then six games total between doubles and singles, three each. And so because of that, I'm going to, you know, foresee that I, I'm going to need something that's very clean, but also has a little bit more back end to it than the Cosmos. And then for the two urethane options, it's going to be the UC3 in case I need something that really hooks and is still early, but still has that great shape and a lot of hook to it, then the UC3 is wonderful for that. And then lastly, I'm gonna need that Zen U in case they are hooking on the fresh and I can play towards the gutter, then that Zen U is definitely gonna come into play. I also think both of those balls could be very useful at the TAT in Vegas. But that wraps up my entire uh, eight balls that I'll be taking with me to Nationals in Reno, and I can't wait. So guys, um, I'm going to be going in July, during the second week of July, um, I'll be bowling, like I said, the TAT in Las Vegas, and then Nationals in Reno. So if you are going to be around, be sure and say hi at either tournament or both, if you happen to be doing both at the same time. And I'd love to see you get a picture, you know, and post it on Twitter even. And I really appreciate all of you. Leave a comment down below when you bowl Nationals this year, or if you already have. And I would love to, like I said in the last video, I'd love to give you some good luck if you haven't gone yet. Or if you've already gone, just tell me when you went. Um, so look forward to hearing from you guys, and I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to subscribe below for the vlog from Nationals. You'll see me throwing some of these balls um, in that vlog, as well as the vlog from the TAT. Same thing. So guys, I'll see you later. Leave a like and a comment down below. See ya. In the